Wind power has the wind at its back. In 2013, Felbermeyer erected about 240 wind turbines across Europe. Renewable energy is also booming in Austria and as a result, more than 20% of all households were being supplied with wind energy at the start of 2013. By the end of the year, this figure had already risen to 30%. Within the framework of this increase, Felbermeyer erected around 80 turbines in the federal states of Lower Austria and Burgenland. It was not an easy process, with solutions having to be found for the complex logistical challenges which arose. A good example of the extent of the challenge is the fact that 1,200 individual transports were required in order to get all the parts of the wind turbine to the erection site. The parts came from Spain, Germany, Denmark and Austria. Another challenge, which had to be dealt with, were the changes to the transport provisions made at short notice and which completely nullified the logistics planning of many weeks. One example of the changes made was the downweighting of the loads, which were allowed to cross the Rader Hochbrücke bridge, which spans the Kiel Canal. This resulted in about 250 loads having to be transferred from the road onto ships. This meant that the route taken went via Rotterdam and then along the rhein main danube Canal to the heavy load port in Linz, Austria. The Felbermeyer site in Linz in general proved to be a very important storage and reloading terminal for the wind turbine parts. In order to be able to transport the wind turbine blades by road, each of which measures in excess of 50 meters in length and weighs 15 tons, the so-called telestep trailers were used. The tower segments were loaded and transported using wind tower adapters. These special types of low loaders guarantee a particularly gentle and efficient transport of the components. During the most intense stages, up to as many as 50 vehicles were involved at the same time in delivering the components to the construction sites. In addition to the challenges posed by the logistics and transport, the lifting and hoisting technology also really pushed both man and machine to their limits. A concrete example in order to illustrate this is the fact that more than 40 individual lorry transports were required so as to get one large crane and all its accessories to the construction site. And once all the parts are there, it then takes a further three days to assemble the around 100 individual parts. When fully assembled and ready to work, the steel giant weighs in at over 1,000 tons. During the erection of the 80 wind turbines, 10 large cranes were in operation all at the same time. Around 30 auxiliary cranes were needed for the loading and unloading, as well as for the pre-installation work and as secondary guiding cranes for lifting the wind turbine plates into position. Depending on the prevailing weather conditions, a normal wind turbine can be erected in two to three days. A so-called hybrid tower was also erected for the very first time anywhere in Austria. The tower consists of 48 individual concrete elements, which, when put together on site, rises to an overall height of 83 meters. Thanks to the addition of a 55-meter-high steel tower, a hub height of 143 meters is achieved.
3, 56 meter long wind turbine blades are pre-assembled on the ground and are then hoisted up for assembly. A lattice boom crane with a 153 meter long boom is used here. The final overall height reached by the wind turbine is 200 meters. The blades generate around 3 megawatts of power from an area of 10,200 square meters. This corresponds to the combined annual power requirement of more than 2,000 households. When looked at from a pan-European perspective, currently around 7% of the entire energy requirement is being generated using wind power. This figure should rise to 18% of the pan-European power requirement being generated through renewable energy sources by 2020.